You hungry? Well, I'm hungry. You like baseball? Well, I love that shit. Want a slice of pizza? Go to New York. You want hot weather? Come to LA. You want to break bread? Call Nick the Toro. Ready, motherfucker? Are you ready? Well, I'm fucking ready. Get ready. Like old school was was rumble like. I'm from the south, man. So y'all play something something good. <laughs> Give him something from the south. <laughs> Give him something good. What's your favorite? What's your favorite song? Lately? Uh, we've been playing a lot of Barry White lately. <laughs> yeah, we're not playing Barry White right. with me. You know? <laughs> All right, that's good. I like that. A little outcast, outcast. today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, ah. Boom, boom. Yeah. Breaking bread. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Anthony Rumble Johnson in the house. Said he's from the south. This man right here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! All right. <laughs> Welcome to the show, brother. Thank you, sir. Thanks for coming yeah. out and making the trip. Thank you for having me here. Damn, man. Legend in the house. How you feeling? Good? I'm great. I'm yeah. blessed, like I said before, man. I have no complaints about nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Life is beautiful Life is to beautiful. me. Yeah. Yeah? For me, it is, regardless. Yeah. yeah. So what's going on? You're making a comeback now? Making a comeback. Um, you call it a comeback? Yeah. It's a comeback. How long have you been away from the game? Two years. Two years? Two years. By the time I fight again, it'll probably be three. Yeah. Wow. So now, you fought in a lot of weight, weight divisions, right? Mm-hmm. What did you start at? 170. 170? Jesus yeah. Christ. Damn. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, 170. 180. But man, I was dropping from 210 down to uh, 170, you know, so I was losing 40 pounds just to make 170 in about two months. How many fights did you have at 170? Uh, too many? <laughs> yeah, too many. Um, Maybe six, something like that. Not a lot. When did you start? What year was it in the UFC? I was 23. No, 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 no. 24. 24? When I got in UFC, I'm 35 now. So 11 years I've been wow. on and off. On and off. On and off. Yeah. Yeah. So 170 and how many fights did you have at that? Probably about six. About six? Yeah. And after there, missing mm-hmm. weight a couple of times. Where'd you go up to? I went up to 185. <laughs> I missed that weight too. Because I just, now my one, body is just. 170 in the, in the UFC is, is what? Middleweight? Well, welterweight. Welterweight. Oh, That's welterweight. like GSP. Uh, my teammate, Kamar Usman, is the champion at really? 170. Yeah. How big of a guy is he? Uh, he's not small for 170, you know what I mean? But he's not a huge guy. Right. But you see him on pictures and he's chiseled. You know what yeah. I mean? He's super lean. Yeah, he is. You know, you see him in the picture, you think, okay, this is the next Mr. Olympia. Yeah. But he's not that big, but he's solid. But he's, he's solid, very huh? solid. Yeah. He's getting ready for a big fight. Yeah. That's Kobe. Kobe Covington, right? Yeah. Yeah. What do you like in that one? What do you think? <laughs> My guy. My oh, guy. God. And you know what, man? Like, Kobe's doing what he's got to do right. to to sell a fight and be the bad guy. Um, my thing with Kobe, do your thing, but like, hey, let's not be fake with it. You know what I mean? I right. know it's a it's. At the end of the day, we're fighters, but we're entertainers. You know exactly. But in this sport, anything goes. Yeah. 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 So I mean, do what you got to do. Do what fits you and what's best for you. But I don't know. I'm just not a talker like that. Right. You know, but hey, like I said, whatever floats your boat. Yeah, it's what works for you, right? Yeah. I mean, I you got to sell the fight. Yeah. yeah I, I think f- I been, find him so unlikable at all, man. Well, he just talks. He talks and talks and talks. And once again, I'm not big on people that talk yeah. like that. You know what I mean? I'm more of a let's go and handle business. And then after you want to talk or have a drink, then you do that, you know? Because if to me, if you talk trash before a fight, right? you're trying to definitely mentally screw somebody up you know what i mean Mm -hmm. but you know most guys that don't talk they're straight killers they don't have to talk right so you know those are the guys i have those are the scary guys yeah my granddad always told me you get in a situation pay attention to the one that's not saying anything is that the one that's barking he's the the runt of the litter right he's like the one that's not talking that's the crazy one that's true it's like people that you know are quiet 
those are the ones when oh yeah you don't want to fight them i watch a lot of you know csi and stuff you yeah know, usually those quiet crazy ones. run for your life <laughs> yeah. right yeah yeah because the guys that usually bark you know they make a lot of noise like even mcgregor you know that that is the one guy mayweather mcgregor and ali pretty much tyson you know those guys when they talk they always backed it up yeah you know they had guys beat before they stepped in the ring so i mean to me i'm like hey my hat goes off to him you know sure. what i mean but that that that's their era their time right you know what i mean Every, but you weren't one of those guys no, no never never i get my own self psyched up whenever people start talking mm -hmm. you know what i mean then that's whenever i get that's i, I get. hold i'll hold it in <laughs> and then when we fight <laughs> So what's the frame of mind like like in the UFC? I mean, like every fighter has a different frame of mind, but like the week of the fight, the day of the fight, I mean, leading up to it, is it, I mean, are you just... I mean, um, give, I'm focused. Give, the moment I get a phone call about an opponent, I instantly get focused. Um, fight week, I'm, at that point, I'm like, the hard work is over. Now, now it's time to have fun. So fight week, I'm just relaxed and chilling, going, going with the flow. Right. So I'm I'm not like I got my boys with me too and all the people that are like important to me. So they keep me calm, they keep me relaxed and we just chill, have a good time. We don't even talk about fighting. You right. know what I mean? We talk about everything else under the sun except for fighting. But they they they're there for me and like you know, it's, it's Josh, it's Damon, it's Pat, it's Al, it's Mark, it's Parker. It's, it, the list goes on and this on. Is your my crew. boys. Yeah. Your boys. Yeah. Yeah. So And they're still your boys? Still my boys. Still, my boys, we are one tight crew. You That's know cool. what I mean? We like a Heinz 57, man. Everybody's something <laughs> different. We all in one group and just having fun. Were you That's a wrestler in high school? Yep. yep. I started wrestling when I was eight, eight years old. And my grandmother didn't want me to do it. No? Nah. She thought it was like WWF back in the day, but it was nothing like that. What about football? You played football? Yeah. I love football. Yeah. I loved it. Because you're a big I was, boy. I was a tailback and an outside linebacker. So I just like to be in the you mix. You like the physical I like contact. to be in the mix. Yeah. 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 I don't want to be one of those guys that when they finish a the game, they got like maybe some grass stains on their knees. You know what I mean? Right. I want I want it to be all, you want to, I want to be dirty. You want to get dirty. Grimy, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And get, really get physical. Did you play high school? Yeah. I had a football scholarship and wrestling scholarship. Oh, to college? Yeah. I just didn't want to play football because I don't like depending on people. You know, I, I know if I was in... If I would have went to college for football, they probably would have put me at safety or something like that. You know what I mean? Right. But just in case they didn't, they, and I got recruited for running back, I could be the starting running back, and I'm about to go through the A gap. I don't know if that guy on the other side of the on the defense may be the next Ray Lewis. Right. And if that guard or tackle whoever missed that block, that guy hits you, that could be a career-ending hit. And if it's not, and you're injured, you can tell that your teammate. And try and help help them correct themselves as much as possible. The coaches can scream at them and do what they're supposed to do. But if that person doesn't want to learn or they're just not coachable, you know, why right. why depend on that person? You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I'd rather wrestle and have a one on one situation. Because you're in control of yeah, your, your own exactly. fate. Exactly. Kind of, right? Yeah. I mean the violence, man, the impact on football, man. It's not that it can't happen in your in your sport, yeah. but it's a it's a scary game. It's a scary game, right? but you, it separates you from what the men and the boys, you know right. what I mean? So yeah. either you got it or you don't. That's right. That's what it is. Yeah. I mean, we pay money and we get excited about these high level athletes, you know what I mean? So we want the best out there. And for the most part, they give it to us. Right. You know, even on the teams that are not that great. You know, Browns have a a squad on offense, but who's playing defense? Yeah. Right. Exactly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, <laughs> Are you, is that your favorite sport? Football? football? Yeah. Um, no. No? No. Not even. Not even. Not even. I watch it, but I'm not like crazy about it. Right. Yeah. Well, what's your favorite? <laughs> Stupid question, right? <laughs> um, my favorite sport, you know what? People don't judge me. Is <laughs> rodeo. Rodeo? Yeah. All right. Look at me. You you expect me to say rodeo? No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a country boy, so yeah. I like I like bull riding and all of that stuff, man. Man. I you, never do it. You don't do it. No, nah, hell no. no. Mm -mm. I'm Whatever. too smart for that. You get hurt, bro. Yeah. 
I was wondering. I was, thought maybe he might say like, <laughs> nah. tennis or some shit. Nah. I was like, you know. What's the hardest sport? The hardest sport to play? Mm -hmm. I already know what he's going to say. Well, I, I think the most skilled sport is baseball. Because it's okay. It's just the, the skill level to play that game. To be great, to master at hand-eye hand coordination. Yeah, the hand-eye coordination, the speed, timing. The well, also timing. to make it at the highest level um, is probably. And I'm the not saying any sport. Yeah. There ain't skill in, in basketball or some in football, yeah. but baseball is man, it's rough. Like, to be, like you think so? To to be great at it. Okay. To be to be know, great at anything. Yeah, is tough, oh, it's you true. Know? It's true. Dad, um, I don't even think to be great at baseball is the hardest. I think to just like if you want to play on a professional level, it's the hardest professional sport to play. I don't you think, think so. Yeah. Well, really? If you're judging like the mainstream sports, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say that's the hardest because like, okay, so like a good example, like basketball or football, right? If you get drafted in the first round or whatever, second round, you're straight in the league. Yeah. Baseball, you could be the number one pick and not even play for play another. Triple in, into the six For six years in the league. Yeah. You could be down I mean, there. Yeah, but, that's, but they also have so many people out there that, you know, it's a big sport. Yeah. You know, but worldwide sport. So I like baseball. I have nothing against baseball players. I think they're tremendous athletes too. But to me, the hardest sport that you can come across is golf. Yeah. I had a feeling you might say that. Because it's yeah. not about speed. It's not about But power. do you call it a sport or do you call it a game? No, it's a sport to me. It's a sport to yeah. me. You still, right. you you still got to work out. You still got to right. eat correct. You still got to know your body. You still got to, you know, you got to know the... The distance you, you still have to be a better than athlete. You You're right. Yeah. Golf is precision. I kind of agree. So yeah, it's, it's so I used to fight with my friends years ago over pool. You know, <laughs> <laughs> my friend used to fucking. He never played sports. This guy Harry. He was like, I go pool. You ain't you ain't an athlete, Harry. I play pool, man. I said, yeah, but pool is a game. Yeah, now that's a game. That's a game. But it's still a skill. You see those it people doing the, the tricks oh, and stuff. Oh my God. I mean, that's I mean, that's super hard. But yeah, that ain't tremendous gonna, skill. But how is that going to get you right anywhere? Like seriously, anywhere in life. So golf, you think, is even harder than... I played baseball than, a little bit. Right. For three years. And, I mean, I was third grade through sixth grade. You know what I mean? But... Just... You it, just it was fun. Yeah. You know, just being the athlete that I am. You didn't love it, but... I didn't love it, but I was just good at it. But you were pretty good at it. Yeah. So that's, I've heard that before. Yeah. Where well, guys well, have said, I was baseball. really good at it, but I didn't love it. I didn't love playing baseball. I liked it. I didn't love it. Yeah, not yeah, everybody's yeah, going to love them. playing baseball. It just the, baseball, it was competition for me. So just the fact that it was competition, I was like, sign me up. Now you play golf? I try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a friend who's really good. He's um he's trying to go pro eventually. But yeah. He's like he's amazing to watch like just in person, but like yeah. He's there's probably dudes way better than him, like that he has to like get to. At it's that such point. a competitive. Me and you might be good in a golf game. You know why? Because I'm like I have a half a swing. I, I, suck I have a golf. baseball swing, but I can keep the ball straight. Long, and, I, and I have a good short game. I have a damn good short game. Only if I can hit the ball. Can you? Well, can you I'm, drive I'm, the ball? I'm terrible at like just. <laughs> maybe you be, well, you know what? Because I, I try and kill it. Maybe true. Maybe Drew should show him how to golf. Be a good idea. Not bad. Yeah. Well, he taught me how to hit the ball better, so I, I don't I'm like the decent. big fat clubs. You know, I like the. Well, he doesn't know how to. He doesn't he know how to ball, fully extend. Game. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty good with the driver, but I'm horrible with the irons. Got you. So, but yeah. you make one good shot, you feel great. Yeah, yeah, you can and tell then, when you hit and, the sweet spot. Yeah, and then after that is all then you're downhill. done and shit. You yeah, know, you're like, yeah. oh shit, I was feeling good. I, I was in the Dominican, Punta Cana. With uh, David Ortiz. Oh, I love Punta Cana. It's beautiful out there. I know. Can he golf? Is he good? Huh? Can he golf? David didn't play a lick of golf whenever we went to his little. You with Big Poppy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he had, you know, like I said, his little charity event out there. A couple of other baseball players: da uh, Johnny Damon, Johnny Damon, yeah. uh, Pedro Martinez, all the Red Sox. Uh, all, yeah, yeah, those guys, you know. So it was the whole squad was there, and it was it was nice. Right. So much fun out there, man. Oh yeah. Got wasted. Punta Cana, uh, man. That's my place. We went there nice. when I was a kid. Yeah. Went there three times one summer. Not a very winter. safe place to go right now. Huh? It's not a very safe place nah. to go. That's right what now. I heard. Yeah. But you know, when I went My sisters went right right whenever everything was happening. Really? They what were are fine. they doing down there? They're drugging people? What? I heard it's the drinks. Drinks? Yeah, if you go yeah. in the fridge and like you get the drinks, that's what's killing people. Jeez. I heard in I heard in Cabo too, like if you get the go to the all inclusives like we do, if you go to the ones like Near the marina where all the sh this things are happening, they spike your drinks there too. Wow. That's scary. Yeah, I like the Punta Cana because I like the Dominicans. Yeah, I like that whole Dominican flavor. They're cool. Yeah, they're, they're cool, cool, man. They're, they're real, real cool, cool, man. 
Right on the beach. They mean business, though. I know. They, they do, definitely right? mean business. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play with no Dominicans, boy. Hey, you don't fool around with them, <laughs> not, huh? Not at all. Yeah, they can play baseball, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Most, most talented in the, I think they're most talented. I think so too. Players. They, now, hardworking, I wouldn't say the most hardworking at times, but they're the gifted. Most talented. But yeah. I mean, when 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 one comes out of Dominican, he's usually like, yeah, you know, he's, he's usually the, the real deal. He's the real deal. But you know, Robinson Cano, David yeah. Ortiz, a lot of them. A Rod. I, I know a guy who recruits all of those guys. Who's that? From, from over in the oh, yeah? Dominican. Yeah. 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 Really good guy. Good guy. He, he's he's Dominican too. Yeah. So it just works out. Oh yeah. There's not too out. many fighters out of the Dominican Republic, right? I don't think there is any. Jeez. As far as I know, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, I gotta get back there one day. When it's yeah, more calm safe. Down. Gotcha. When it calms down. I'm sure it'll pass. Yeah. We're yeah. supposed to go to the Philippines next year. You been to the Philippines? Nah. Huh? I wanna go. I hear a lot of good things about it. Oh, yeah. Heard you can live like a king out That's there. That's what I heard. I, so I want to go out there and try to live like a <laughs> That's king what out I'm there. Thinking. I'm looking for a place where I could, you know. Just kick back and like right, not right. really be bothered and eat and drink and have fun and it's cheap. Get catered? Yeah. You get rub downs? Yeah. I mean, my wife's Filipino. That's why, you know. You know what it what is. What can I get away with? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, sure. I mean, but for me, you know, I like the people. Yeah. I mean, I like I like the like to go to Asia. I haven't been to Asia. Have you fought over there? I've been no. I've been to um Chengdu, China. China? That's it. It was cool though. Those you know, I'm 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 big into the like the old school kung fu movies where the lips like don't match what they're saying. Oh, you're talking about you the know, dubbing. The, the old school. Yeah, the stuff. dubbing. You yeah. know, I'm used to uh watching stuff like that because I'm a big fan of kung fu and whatever. You know how they always make it seem like it's very subservient. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When I went over there, I was like, yo, it's nothing like they said. Right. Nothing like I saw on TV. It's you about saw. a gazillion of y'all, and y'all do not care. They will bump into you and just keep moving. And, and for me, I'm of course I'm towering over everybody, but they're bumping me left and right. Boom, boom, boom. And just being who I am, I'm like, excuse me, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bump you. But it started happening so much, and every time I would apologize and turn around, they just kept moving. So to them, it's just a way of life. They're so used to it, and there's so many people. If they touch somebody, they don't even realize they they bumped into them. They just keep it moving. Yeah, that's like New York. You know what I mean? People, yeah. New York, we run into each other, bump into I, each other. I can't, I can't be around that many people. No, you like your space. I like space. That's I'm from you, Georgia. You that's know why, because I mean? you're from the south. Yeah, I got property. You All know, around the Georgia. South? No, just I'm saying I got probably about seven, eight acres. In Georgia? Yeah. What are you doing with those acres? Oh, that's where I grew up at. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> seven or eight acres out there, you know. I was raised by my grandparents. I like the South. It's you fun. Know? No, I just I find the people there. I just I just did a day on some movie out there. It was in the Carolina Beach. It was beautiful. Where? Really beautiful. Hilton Head? Um, Something like that? It was near Wilmington. Okay. You know? Yeah. But it was nice. Yeah. The beach was beautiful. I never really been to um the Carolinas over there. No. You know what I mean? Um I've been to what is the Wake Forest area. Mm -hmm. And that was beautiful. That was nice over there. I was like, okay, I can live over here. Because yeah. they still had space, but it was right. just beautiful. But it was still on the inner city. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So it wasn't I was raised twenty miles outside of the city. So we had yeah. a how uh a horse. We got a pond. We, real had, country, we had cows, chickens. Oh, you had all I that? had a cat. Damn. had dogs. Yeah. So what'd you do? <laughs> you took care of all that stuff? Yeah. 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 Had goats. goats. Goats? And he breeds bulldogs now, too. Yeah. Frenchies. You breed Frenchies? French bulldogs. Rumble time Frenchies. Wow. Yeah. So bullies, how you... bullies, Frenchies, I yeah. try to, you know, go with the breed that I like. Yeah. We have a an English bulldog. Yeah, I showed him a picture. Yeah, yeah he showed me. He's, He's beautiful. Chancellor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> He's got a smell lately, but it's driving old me crazy. He's he? like four years old. I think he... He's got some kind of yeast or some shit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, you know, a couple of weeks ago, he, he, we had a dog at the house. What did we have? What kind of dog was that? Dude, yeah. it was annoying as shit. I don't know. Whatever, it was annoying, but what, what was that? It was like little, a pod pit bull. Dog? Pod pit bull. Oh, okay. I think he got into his food and he had terrible diarrhea. You know what I mean? And then. He didn't get it on him. And then the next day, he had it again in the kennel. And my wife was like, ah, oh, he's all full of diarrhea. And I was chasing the bastard all over the yard. He was like, he was reeking in it. And I had to hose him, trying to hose him down. I had, you know, because I had to get him cleaned. 
So, man, he looked, it was awful. And nobody's going to deal with that shit but me. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? They, 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 they would throw up. They don't even want to pick up poo. You know, when it's a dog you love, you just I know, you I loved it. them. You and I it. got them, and I hosed them down. Then I took them to the, to the, the cleaner, you know, the vet or whatever. Yeah. And they cleaned them up. And then they gave me some food to stop the diarrhea. Yeah. Okay. But since then, he still rice has Rice and all that? Rice, yeah. Yeah, yeah they give yeah. him that. What do they call it? There's certain kind of food you, that stop it now. Some kind of, there's some kind of dog food. It's not like a forget what it's called but they sell it stops you know oh okay it's like a modium or some yeah, shit. yeah yeah, yeah. You know? i know what you mean okay yeah gotcha. but he's sensitive you know what i mean uh -huh. he's very sensitive i wonder if you're talking about albon Nah, i don't think it was called that the, yeah because there's a pill called albon that's it that helps with the yeah you know your stomach and all that stuff too yeah. but a french bulldog would go good with him i think think you so know? yeah I get, think it would get, go good. get another one <laughs> well i got two shih tzus you know one shih tzu is about to kick the bucket so he's like a hundred it sounds like all your dogs are old yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All your dogs are really well, cool. well, when that one kicks the bucket, we'll get one from Rumble. <laughs> yeah, just let me know when you're yeah, ready, man. Well, we'll let we you got know. you. We'll let yeah. you know, we got you. So um, you work for Bare Knuckle, too, right? Yeah. So we all met at the Bare Knuckle. Yeah, that's how we Pauly. met Rumble. So what do you do exactly for them with their uh? Co just, company? you know, have a try and make sure everything's cool between the fighters and, you know, the staff. Try and help the organization get fighters. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they got to find them somewhere. Yeah, you know, so I'm I'm kind of a link between bare knuckle and access to other fighters and stuff like that. But it's growing so fast. Sometimes I wonder if they even need me. Did the poly fight do really good on the pay per view and all that stuff? I think so. I stay out of that stuff. Yeah, I don't deal with numbers and all that. That's not my field. That's not my business. So I'm like, hey, whatever yeah. Dave Feldman and his guys make or whatever happens on that end, that's up. That's that's on them. You How'd you meet I mean? Dave? To a a uh, guy we used to know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like an interesting cat. Yeah. yeah. Dave? Yeah. He's 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 different. <laughs> that's what I meant. <laughs> yeah. It was, Dave, it was, Dave it was, but Dave is not like a I bad like him, different. No, no, that's I what I'm him. saying. Like we, he's we got actually, a he's got a swag about him that's Yeah, just, he's got like yeah. a he's a character, you know? <laughs> yeah. Brought me yeah. to all the all, all these guys in Philly. Yeah, when I, I I just hung out with them this past weekend. Did you? At his event, Art of War. Up in Philadelphia, and the whole time he, used, you know, he's a complete gentleman. Right. Yeah. But you know, I'm looking at him, and I'm looking at how he talks, and yeah. his walk, and I'm like, that's hey. what I mean. I'm like, something he's, about Dave is just like real cool. He's like a guy I'd like to play in a movie. <laughs> you know what I mean, I could study a guy like Dave Feldman. Super just, cool. Yeah, totally cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just his whole body and yeah. language is that everything. Boy. It seemed like it's just real chill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if it's, you know, you're around him. Yeah. And uh, how's that going? Good. good. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Really good. He had a great event, like I said, Art of War up in Philadelphia. Um, he's putting legendary matches together already with Bare Knuckle. I mean, you got Gonzaga and Bigfoot Silva fighting each other October nineteenth. That's in a big Tampa. One. That's a that's yeah. a. Even though those guys are are um, they're they're veterans, and some people are gonna say that they're past their prime right. and all that other stuff. But you got to remember, these guys are still fighters. Right. At the end of the day, who cares if they're past their prime, right? Two guys that are past their prime, still a pretty even match. Right. So some big boys in there are going to be, you know. People forget, like, just because guys are past their prime, they think that, they're oh, soft. you know, that they're soft. But these are tough guys. Yeah. I mean, even some of the guys on the undercard with, when Paulie was fighting, uh, some of those guys are older MMA fighters, and they were tough, man. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was interesting to watch because I've seen a UFC fight we go to a lot of boxing stuff, and then like watching it, like just nothing on the hands was like, yeah, it was a little like. But you know, what you man, to, yeah, it was weird to watch first, and then the guy you stood over the it's, the it's like, of the night. to me, it's like um, we all have been in a, a fist fight, one way or the other. You know what I mean? So we're just grown ups this time doing it and mm -hmm. getting paid for it, and it's not illegal. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, you started out as kids, now you're you're adults, so you might as well keep it up. So yeah. why not? It's a different type of crazy though to do something like that. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, I like my face. You know what I mean? Those <laughs> those boys be coming out looking yeah. sometimes messed up. Well, what you is, saw Paulie and I saw Artem. Yeah. yeah. When I saw them the next day, I was like, Jesus. They yeah. they, they they put it on each other. I know. I don't want to have any type of punishment like that on me. Yeah. Polly broke his hand too. Yeah. 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 Apparently you're supposed to fight him again. In, I don't uh, think it's potential happen, but if it does. Thing, yeah. I don't think nobody wants to see it. I mean, I don't think there's a point. I don't think there's a point either. I I, I personally thought Paulie outboxed him, but I don't think know. so. 
Yeah, I think he did. From a boxer's point of view? Yeah. But I mean, Paulie I'm, came to box. But here's, he, Artem came to fight. Here, here's, how I, here's how I looked at it, right? That's true. That is if you true. Want, yeah, you I, get somebody, you, no matter, sometimes, no matter how much skill you have, if you got somebody that wants to fight you, they're going to fight you. Because that's that's that, what people wanted to yeah. see. Artem, yeah, but, but Artem just, wanted to fight. He got his girl there, his baby there. He got a whole lot riding. Yeah. We, we already know Paulie's a better boxer than him. No, yeah, but, but if it was a boxing match, Artem would have got eight But up. it's not just that. Like, I, I thought from, like, the, the perspective of it, it was like, like, Artem fought at Paulie's pace. You saw him fight Jason Knight, and he was literally all over the place swinging. And then Paulie literally had him fighting at his pace, his range, what he wanted. But he Pauly held him off nice. Paulie couldn't stop that clinch, though. He didn't know what to do with that. Yeah. That's but, what was getting but, him. But his movement was good. I just thought Paulie up 3-2. I just liked the fight. Yeah. It was a good fight. I was, was really wasn't going by who was winning. I, I was hyped up on it. Yeah, I yeah. just saw the fight. I just wanted to see a great fight. Yeah. That's what we got. It was it was funny though. It was a funny It, it was went fun fast, event. but it you know? went fast. Like you ten know, minutes. Yeah. Right? Just like well, I think it's because we, like we were there we were there for four days and it was like Three. we were build we were building yeah. it up for like a while and then it just kind of was just like it was done. It was it. <laughs> it was fun, but I try not to laugh during the press conference. I don't know if you guys saw that. Oh. Whenever Paulie got no Artem got up there, he said he's broke. He lived with his parents and he got brain damage. <laughs> That's why he fighting. I was dying <laughs> when he I, said that because I was standing right behind him. Dude, my head just popped straight up because I'm like, oh, the whole internet is looking at me right now. I try not to smile and bust out laughing, I, but I, man. I like. I think at the, the press conference we were at, he goes, Artem said something like, uh, he goes, um, or no, Paulie goes, buddy. This Rolex, you, you, your purse can't afford this. He goes, yeah. goes, yeah, that you got that from your grandparents. He goes, yeah. yeah he goes, okay, yeah, I, I, I got this from my grandparents. He goes, and buddy, the last press conference, I slapped you with an Audemars Piguet. That's a hundred grand right there. Like, don't talk to me about money. Right. <laughs> it was like, it meant no sense. And then he was like, this is not a wedding. I want to fight. I want to fight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Yeah. It was too fighters, much. MMA fighters aren't like that. You know, to me, boxers are flashier. Talk, talk way more. A little bit. You yeah. know, once again, that's their sport. Right. That's their sport. It is a different sport. world, right? It's a different world. Between a prize fighter and the MMA. Yeah. Because it's a different mentality. Yeah. Right? We, to, to, to me, we have, we don't, once again, we don't need to talk. We go out there and just do what we do. We'll kick in your head if we want to. Right. You know, um, you know they got the big debate. Who's, who's the better fighter, boxers or MMA fighters? Man, if you put a MMA fighter in a legit fight against a boxer, that man's dead. If he don't know how to defend takedowns and stuff, that You're man's probably dead. right. That man, probably no, right. he's dead. Right. No, he's I mean, gonna be I, like a I, fish out of water. I, I can't, I can't argue with you unless, unless the fighter, you know, is so lethal with his hands, right? It's you know, it's different yeah. angles for both sports, different angles, different stance, different movements. So. It's, 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 because it's tricky. MMA is more closer to real fighting, right? Yeah. In the, in the, in the sense of the real world, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's probably why it has that big attraction, right? That they made it organized, well, but yet still we're, like... We're, we're the modern day gladiators. Boxers aren't the modern day gladiators. Did you think it was going to blow up when it first started? Um, I thought it was... It looked fun. Because I was in college whenever I even tried to do my first submission we was in practicing the gym on the wrestling mat and just messing around you know what did I mean? you know that what was, you were doing not not nothing. <laughs> nothing i took his back though and that's all i knew what to do is just get on his back but it was fun and i to me that could have been the beginning of something great because there are other fighters that i went to college with that um they came they became pretty successful you have any idea of uh who you may want to fight when you come back everybody Everybody. Everybody, man. I ain't I ain't, I didn't come back to pussyfoot around. You know what I mean? I came to fight. Yeah. And uh every fight I, I do my best to come and fight, you know. And I'm not saying I'm gonna be there mentally every fight, because sometimes you, you're there and sometimes you're not. If it's not your night, it's not your night, you know what I mean? Right. But uh I'm I'm always gonna do my best and fight. No yeah. matter what. Even if I'm fighting crappy, <laughs> it's the best um, you, you're gonna get out of me at that moment. What was yeah. your record, almost? I think twenty six and six or something like that. That's pretty good. Yeah, but it's the only fight at two or five you would go down for is Jones, right? Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. I'd like to see that. Yeah. I'm, right now I'm two forty five. You know, whenever I did my grappling match back in July or whatever, um, July, August, whatever it was, against um, 
the dude from Australia. I can't think of his name right now. Oh, Sorry. Gus, Gus the Fire? No, 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 no. It's the guy from Australia. Australia. That uh, he's crazy grappler. Really, he's really good. He's like number two in the world or something like that. What makes a great grappler? What do you well, think? he just position. I don't know. I'm not a grappling expert. No. Nah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so I ain't gonna sit here and shoot you a lie and be like, yeah, you need to do this and do that. Nah, it's not my spell. You know, you ask me how to punch somebody. Right. I give you A through Z. Right. But grappling, that's not, not my specialty. Thing. Right. That was that was uh, I remember. When you fought on uh, the McGregor DS card, and mm -hmm. you put out, uh, uh, you, who did you knock out again that day? Glover. Yeah. 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 That was that was wild, man. Yeah. You know what? Out of all of my fights, I can I always look my opponents in the eye when we have our face off. You know what I mean? Always, because you can tell a lot by a man when you look him look at him in his eyes. You can tell if he's he, if he's serious or not. You know, or you can tell if he's just kind of on the fence. You know, okay. you can tell a lot by looking at a man in his eyes, especially when it's in his when it's about to be a battle. I've looked at obviously many opponents in the eyes. The two guys I would say that looked like they was truly ready to fight. And one was Glover, the other one was DC. Other than that, I looked at the who's who of two oh five in their eyes, and I'm like, you guys you ain't got it. You just could see it in I the eye. I could see it. Wow. I could see it in them. The eyes tell you a lot of stuff. Yeah. I, I knew they were they done. Always, what they say, they, they never lie. But yeah, I, I knew I knew they were done with at the weigh-ins. You knew. I knew. Well, for one, like Alexander Gustafson, you know, I called him out to fight him. And I remember, you know, he said, oh, I'm not ready for the battlefield and all that other stuff. Said that about That's you what do? he said to me. You know, because he had his fight with John. You know, that's how everybody knows Gus. It ain't like he beat up the who's who just to get right. to John. You know what I mean? But he did fight tough opponents. So that's one thing. I don't like I don't talk trash about fighters, cause just to fight, it's it's it takes a lot just to go out there and fight. You know what I mean? There's levels to it, but I'm you'll never hear me talk about a fighter and be like, Oh, he you know, he's trash and whatnot. Right. No, because you go out there, you're putting your life on the line either way. Win, lose, or draw, either you're good or you're not, you're still putting your life on the line when you go in that octagon. You know what I mean? So right. I don't talk talk bad about fighters like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you have a certain amount of... Yeah. It's like a scene at a taxi driver There's right crackheads fighting. Check this out. Uh, like a crackhead. Outside. Yeah. This is like is a crackhead. Is this the chick right there? I want to get some of this dialogue. She need a bra. What the fuck are you looking for? Oh, they just having a conversation, yeah. man. That's it. They That's just loud. Right. That's yeah. it. <laughs> It's part right? of the yeah, show, that's man. That's what everybody thought. It's part of the show. There's a guy in taxi driver like that. <laughs> oh, there's two of them? Yeah, there's, like, there's like a bunch of them. She's living her best life right now. Yeah. Though, so. <laughs> so we... But... <laughs> <laughs> she ain't going nowhere, dog. Anyways. She ain't like... going nowhere either. He looking real yeah. comfortable right now. Yeah. I just too many. It's <laughs> <laughs> just part of the show, but it's got to be in it. So but yeah. um, so yeah. You know, I called out Gus, and Gus said, you know, you're not ready for the battlefield and all this other stuff because he was the closest guy to ever to come to beating John. Right. And it was a great fight. I watched it from start to finish. It was a hell of a fight. Hell of a fight. Yeah, yeah. I actually thought Gus won. He could have pulled it off. It could have went either way. You right. know what I mean? But um. I remember whenever Gus and I met for the first time at our press conference and he looked at me and I was like, yeah, this kid is, he's got some fire in him. You could tell? Yeah, I could tell. Yeah. Cause he was, you know, he was on a, he was on a, on a high. Right. You know what I mean? Still well, coming right. off that, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Performance of a lifetime, you know? And uh, he won even though he lost. You know what I'm saying? Right. He so. won even though he lost. Um, but. <laughs> Man. <laughs> She's in the zone, Lou. Right? <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we might as well finish it out but, there. Uh, <laughs> but um, <laughs> whenever, whenever mm -hmm. I met Gus again. Um, what changed? I saw, I looked at his eyes again. He didn't have that same look that he had before. And I knew then Gus was in trouble. But the thing about it, Gus... Is, he is good. 
Don't get don't get it twisted. Right. Gus is good. Right, I'm not saying because even when I was in there, like Gus was sticking me. He was popping me with jabs and stuff and nice Strong. little one too. I mean, it didn't, it wasn't hurting me, but it, it sting a little. You right. know what I mean? It's a punch, you know. But but he's got some skill. He, he's got skill. Right. He's, he got he's got he has good you know distance judgment of you know of distance and stuff like that. How big that. of a dude and is he? Six four, six five. Oh, so he's a big yeah, dude. He's not, you went, you yeah, went to his hometown boy. and yeah, beat him. Stockholm, right? Sweden. Nice. Yeah. That must have been fun, huh, Sweden? Dude, it, 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 it's yeah. <laughs> I mean, everything's nice out there. <laughs> you <laughs> Every, were a hit there, right? Yeah, everything's nice out there. Jeez. But, you know, um, yeah, man. I don't, when you when it's you versus a country, pretty much, you're, you're for sure the underdog, but right. the energy in a, in a place like that, of that magnitude, mm -hmm. is something equivalent to a Super Bowl. Or yeah. World Series or NBA championship. You right. Know what I mean, Stanley Cup champions. Like that, it's that, that high energy level. It's is that like, high level yeah. that you know that stakes are so high. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. And we fought at three in the morning over there. Three That's the six morning. hours ahead. Right. So three or three AM over there is nine. Does it matter as a fighter what time you fight? I mean, you're ready to does it matter? The fighter will fight no matter what. Does time it matter, is. right? Yeah. yeah. Don't Doesn't come matter. out three in the morning. I don't morning think it matters. Or... I don't think it matters. Yeah. You know. But um, like I said, I can tell by the second time we, we had our, at the weigh-ins, it was actually fight week when we met and we, we had our face off at the weigh-ins. I can look at his eyes then and tell like he wasn't the same individual. It could have been the weight cut. It could have been something. But when I looked in his eyes, he wasn't the same. Isn't that crazy when you see fighters and you could see them when they're in a zone or when they're in that place, maybe they can't get back to it. Maybe that was their high number, but mm -hmm. that they can't always reach that place or be in that same, you could see it like when we saw McGregor fight Khabib. He could just tell he looked like he wasn't there. I'm not saying he would have won the fight, but you could just tell. I just, he did not I, I have don't, that I don't think look. I don't think he gave a fuck. He That's just, what it came down yeah, to. Yeah, I don't think he took it as serious. I mean, you know, we can analyze well, how long, it. How long was he out? He, Two well, years. He was yeah. out a couple of years. Two he years. already made a lot of money. Did the boxing thing. He, he made even more money he fighting didn't, Khabib. Yeah, and he didn't look that hungry. And then he, he has whiskey that was doing and Then good. he was going nuts with the freaking whiskey. I mean, you know, yeah, he could have had a lot going on. Yeah. Could have had a lot going well, on. sometimes you know, like when I remember when Duran first fought Leonard, I'm a big boxing fan, and Duran looked like, you know, he was a caged animal, like the look in his eyes, everything, and like he was obsessed with fighting Sugar Ray Leonard and beating him, you know, really like ready, and you could see it. There was fire in him. Then they had a rematch, like a, a rematch came a lot quicker than anyone thought. Six months, eight months. He used to blow up Duran from like 140 to 200. But you could tell. 140 to 200. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know he was going to do no mas or whatever. He quit or whatever he did. But in that fight, and he was even in the fight. But he was, his face, everything, his body, not the same guy. Exactly what you're telling me. Mm -hmm. What you saw with this guy. You saw one guy, and then you said, this guy, it's not, he's not, not the same. he don't have it in his and then sometimes, you know, you can come back again, maybe try to get it back. Yeah. You can't be the same guy all the you time. You can't always be the same. Oh, can't always be the same guy. And you may not reach that high note, mm -hmm. but you could be close to it. Close, yeah. You could be ready to fight. I mean, really ready. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway. Um, well, it's hard to be the same guy. Yeah, it's always fight. hard to be the same You're, guy. You don't know what's you know happening what I mean? in your life, etc. What's going on where you are what mentally. Do you think, what do you think about rematches? Rematches are, are interesting. I, I think, do you, I think do it you depends. think the person that... One, the first fight is going to have the same hunger as he does in a rematch, or the guy that lost is going to come back hungry. Probably the guy who lost, but it just depends on the situation. Like, it's hard to say because maybe the guy who won knows the money's there, so maybe he wants to make more money and he'll take it more serious, or it just depends on what one guy brought, like... Did he dominate him at some parts? And like, oh, you know, maybe I don't give a fuck this time. And mm -hmm. then maybe, or, oh, it was a tough fight. So it's hard to say. I think it goes both ways. Yeah, like, yeah I think that's, that like, could be true. And also, it also, like, a guy could figure something out, too. Like, what was it, Ward when he fought Kovalev? And he Andre arguably, Ward. yeah, he could have. He arguably lost the first Could have lost that fight. Who? But they gave him Andre the Ward. Andre Ward, the first fight he fought Kovalev. Fought Kovalev. It you was think he could have lost? Well, it was yeah, close. Well, he got dropped. The second, got one, dropped. The, the second one, he, well, he well, finished. Well, that's, that's what he's saying. He, he dropped, saying dropped in the he, first fight. He figured, at, at, in the second half of that fight, he figured out that this guy's a bully, 
I could probably beat this guy full fledged. If I frustrate him. And he did in the second fight. Mm -hmm. I'm like, they gave him the first fight, but I think he figured yeah. he figured the guy out because the guy was like kind of a a bit of a bully. I think I watched that fight, didn't he? It he almost knocked Ward out in the second in like round. Like the first round, first or round, like that. put him on his ass in the rematch. No, in the first. No, fight. I'm, I'm talking about the rematch. Oh, the rematch. Oh, the rematch Ward, Ward, dominated. He, yeah, him. but uh, was it a was it? A Stopped body shot. Yeah, was it a body, like a body shot. shot. He, he yeah. whooped his ass, and he okay. just like he didn't want to fight no more. He yeah. like basically quit. Man, if somebody hits you in the body, it takes a lot out of you. It's rough, right? It's so rough. I got my boy Tyrone Spong, kickboxing champion. You know what I mean? He hit me with a body shot so hard, and that's his. That's one of his specialties. He likes. He's a very powerful Wait, in guy. In the rib. Yeah, he's accurate. <laughs> he is what accurate. Is it, what does it do? It just it just destroys you. You the know body what? Shots? I think I'm a tough guy. I bounced around for about. Three seconds, and then I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm in training. Time out. I took a knee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was hurting. Yeah, I was hurting. It's no joke, right? No joke. It sucks then the I, air out of you. Yes, your body shuts down pretty pretty fast. I got kicked in the in the liver and all that stuff once One by time? my boy. We call him Donkey. <laughs> donkey. <laughs> we call him Donkey like <laughs> off Shrek. Oh my god! Big ass teeth. <laughs> 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 so we call him Donkey. His name Roy Jones Jr. That's his name. That's his name. Yeah. And, um, you know, Donkey wasn't the most talented fighter, but he was a hard worker. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And then Donkey, threw a, Donkey was 6'8", I think. Damn. Something like that. 6'6", six, six, something. Something like that. And he threw a jab, and he got it at a different angle, and then he threw a kick. I didn't see the kick until it was already here, and he hit me right in the in just... That was it, huh? I, I was like, yo, this is donkey. I ain't going down in front of everybody. Right. But I, I went down. You did take me? <laughs> <laughs> I went down. For, oh. for, speaking of rematches, I was talking to him about this earlier. Like, I don't want to take your perspective on this. If you think you're like, if you're a champion, right, and you get the belt taken from you, let's say you reign for a couple years, whatever, depending on each person's situation, do you think they're always granted an immediate rematch or no? Or do you think it just depends on the situation? I think it depends on... That's that's tough. If you are a champion and you're not defending your belt like a champion, you don't deserve a rematch. So so uh, Stipe Stipe deserved a rematch because he defended. A he lot. defended the belt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. DC deserves a rematch because clearly ain't nobody else in the light in the heavyweight division gonna beat either one of those guys right now. Right. You know what I mean? Francis came close to beating Stipe first round. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he gassed. And yeah. he gassed. I don't even want to say he came close to beating him first round, he, but he did a lot of swinging, you know, and didn't hit much. But, you know, um, you go out there, you get, you know, Demetrius Johnson. He's a champ. Dude will has cardio for not five rounds, probably ten rounds. You know what I mean? Wow. And but he always tried to finish a fight. You know, he always went out there and performed. Um, and Demetrius didn't get the credit he deserved. You know, the guy was under, he didn't lose anybody in UFC besides my boy Henry Cejudo right. and um, Dominic Cruz. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And those are two guys that a are, legit, are right? legit. Yeah. And look yeah. at what he did between those two guys, you know, mm -hmm. in that time span. If, he, if Demetrius was bigger, he would have been a superstar. See, Lou. But it would have been a superstar, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but once again, he didn't talk. He didn't yeah. do all that trash right. that, That's why Henry Cejudo, like, he's like kind of, yeah, he's he's rebranded re himself because, like, that division, a lot of people didn't pay attention for a long time, as he said, like, Demetrius Johnson's, like, one of the most successful champions and nobody cared. And nobody cared. Because he didn't talk. But, like, Cejudo figured out, like, I got to talk and he created, and he's, and he's created and he's done an image. And people, well, so, right? you know, like, but once again, like, you asked about, do, do the people, the champs that lost their belt, do they get a rematch? He should have gotten another one. He should have got a rematch, but, you know, that's, that's in the past now, but like didn't want to do people that. like people like um, Tyron Woodley, he deserves one. You I th think he deserves one? Yeah, I mean he defended the belt a bunch of he times. He defended it, but was it ever any point in the in those defense the defenses that you seriously stood on your feet and was like, wow, I did that one time. Not for like his whole fights, but I liked Woodley in general. No, no, Woodley's a dope fighter. Yeah, he's but, a dope but, fighter. But I do, th I think the Covington Usman thing needs to happen, and then. If Usman's successful, then and if Woodley has another fight in between, then maybe Woodley. Yeah, you know, I, I get what you're saying, but yeah. to me, I'm like, dude. It, to me, it just like, plays narratives. Like, yeah. That's what it is, I guess. No, yeah, I get, I get what you're was saying. Was Woodley a bad match for uh, 
I mean, he, it was, I mean, was Usman just a bad? Yeah, he was just on his ass. Yeah, he just seemed like it he was a bad Tyron style. Tyron had no answer for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it, but he could have been off. But hey, that night my guy was on. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I heard an interview or something where Tyron said that he would beat Kamaru nine times out of ten. <laughs> well, you starting off on the wrong foot on that foot. nine times out of ten. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, um, guys like Tyron. You know, hell of a fighter, great athlete. You know, I, I watched him wrestle at Missouri, you know. Um, but he, to me, he just wasn't the most dominant champion or most in, most entertaining champion yeah. at 170. I mean, I, I saw him fight, we all saw him fight Damian Maya. Yeah, that like was Like, what, he threw five punches fight. or something, something crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because he was so worried about defending the, the takedown from Damian, not getting on the ground. Yeah. So it, fights like that stick stick in people's mind. You yeah. know what I mean? To me, his most his most exciting fights were um, what's his name Darren Till. Oh, he, he dropped him. He, and he, choked he, him he out. got him with that crazy right hand that he has. Mm. And um, Steven, Wonder Boy, that He's was a, a great talented fight. guy. Wonder yeah, Boy, yeah, Wonder huh? Boy's dope. He's an amazing guy. I really like him. Yeah, I, 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 his dad is awesome. His whole yeah, his whole like, entourage I just, is dope. I just like the guy and he's talented. My, my, he just has. Kind of missed by a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Yeah. Not that he deserves a rematch or anything, but like me and him just want to see Connor fight Khabib again because we think that's just <laughs> funny. Like it's entertainment. Well, I mean, why? Well, why? I mean, here's the thing. Like to me, like the fight itself didn't grant him a rematch, but what happened after kind of granted oh, yeah. him that, the rematch. If they ever have a because, rematch, it's going to be. Be because like, I mean, he didn't. Ha I mean, I understand why he jumped, but it's like, you didn't have to. And then you ended up fighting like his teammate who just talks a lot of shit on Twitter. Hey, and but then, that's what you and, get. And then, and then Connor goes and fights all your brothers. And I'm like, well, there's a rematch. I, I want to see it now. Yeah, it's but you know, you know how it is. You can't. It's like that the whole thing, like people on the internet, since the internet has been around and social media has become popular, everybody feel like they can say whatever they want to say and nothing's going to happen to them. That there's no consequences. Him. There's no consequences. That's and true. And that's the thing people don't realize. Don't always him. put me in that bracket. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, as far, and we're fighters. You know, you get a fan that's talking, just nonstop talking trash, and you just still trying to be cool. When you're going to remember that fan, you right. remember him. You're going to see him somewhere. Yeah. And then his own. It's, on, it's, it's going down on site. I guarantee you that fan will run. They don't know how to fight. They, they don't know how to fight, but they talk fighters. it so heavy online. You know what I mean? But that dude, what's his name? Dylan, Dylan Dennis. Dennis. Whatever. Yeah. That's that's the one who's uh he's like he's at he he's in Bellator or something, but he's yeah, Conor yeah. McGregor's best friend or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That that whole persona that he puts on is Yeah, I mean those amazing. guys are just like living through him. Yeah. Right? They living so, through Connor. They're living through McGregor yeah. and it's like you know, I mean, you, and I'm not saying that. Once again, I'm not saying they don't work hard, but right. they wouldn't be where they are without if it wasn't him. For Connor, yeah. right? But I just think it would be, you know, just to see the fight one more time. It probably may, it might it'd be, be a the good same fight. result. It'd be a good probably fight. Probably the same you result, a, but it'd be a probably good fight. Be, right. I mean, you know, maybe you get a better McGregor, maybe a more focused McGregor, because even at his worst, he was. He had some moments, you know. He had some mm -hmm. moments. Khabib, Khabib looks like a just. He's an animal. He's a monster. How, I don't know how he's, you beat him. I don't, I don't know how you beat him. Unless you can knock him out. <laughs> it the like other he's guy not hurt human. him, and then he like backed off. The guy hurt him a little bit. Poirier. Poirier. And, and then he like just didn't. He got a freaking man. I mean, I, anybody can be beat, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I mean but I don't think you're going to beat mean, him wrestling. Could, could be, you know, they, I think I read something about him and DC hand fight all the time. Yeah. You know, wrestling and stuff. Uh-huh. You get somebody who, once again, if somebody really loves something, they want to do it. Exactly. It's hard to. It's hard when somebody's great at something. Yeah. <laughs> and you master it. Mm -hmm. That's what I was saying before. Wasn't I saying like, you know, you're, the guy's great at something. You know, it's like a master of, what, what's that one the guy says? What's that thing the guy was saying recently? Oh, Floyd Mayweather? Yeah, Floyd Mayweather. He has oh, this, I'm talking he, to Brian Kane. He yeah, he had this I, I forgot interview who I'm talking year, to. years ago years with ago, Brian Kane. Interview. He goes, he goes. I'm talking to Brian Kenny, a man of many things, but a master You're of none. nothing. You're talking to Floyd Mayweather, right. the master of boxing. Right. Like, I, I, nobody will beat and It's me. like what this guy does is you, you're not going to beat somebody that's fucking great at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you could work and on then, it, then, but you're not going to yeah. beat him. If, and you got it all together? How are you going to beat that man? I don't think what, any, what, what would you consider boxing? Mayweather style, uh, Ali style, or Tyson style? What would I consider what true boxing? Yeah. Uh, 
I'd say Mayweather. I would say, I would say probably uh, Ali because he could do. And he was a big, big man. Yeah, and finesse, and, yeah, and, speed, and he, and he had, had speed, finesse, and he had some power. And he could, he could take a. You saw him get knocked on his ass. Yeah. You saw him get up. You saw him. I mean, Floyd. He was an artist, but I don't know what Floyd could have. He never really took a lot of punishment, so we don't know. Like you know, he got rocked once by Mosley, but never yeah, saw. He Floyd. held on to that arm. On that yeah, one. he held on for <laughs> yeah. dear life. But, uh, but Madonna I, hit him with that did, overhand but, right. But but uh, no, Madonna. Sloppy. Madonna hit him. He was and he caught him with that overhand right, and Floyd backed up and grabbed the ropes. <laughs> and you can look at his legs. He was he was hurt. He was he hurt. was hurt. He was hurt. But it's Floyd. He knows how to. But he's an artist. Collect his thoughts yeah, yeah, and yeah. you know get it's back on the ball. I know. I mean, it I takes a special individual to be able to do stuff like that. To be that great at something like he is, I mean, you got to tip your cap. Yeah. Because he, regardless if you, whether you like hate him, the, and, people hate the man that, because they love him, and they love him because they hate him. All yeah. of the above. You know what I mean? But just think about it. He he had the gift. He had the skill. But he also put the work in. Yeah. You know oh, his I mean? worth that. I mean, it was crazy. When someone is great at something and you watch, even when I've watched like certain actors I've worked with or whatever, and I'm watching them and I'm like, I'm pretty good at what I do. And I'm about, I'm watching some of these dudes. And I'm like, this motherfucker is great. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, I'm trying to be that. I'm just trying to hang with that guy. I said he's that like, one. you know, and, and, you, and I'm not saying that's equivalent to a fighter, but you know what I mean? That they're in that mindset that they're like so focused. They're so like great. You're like, holy shit. You know, I mean, I said that about Tom Hardy when we filmed Warrior. We went out to he's eat. He's one of those dudes. Yeah, we went out to eat and he's one of those dudes. We was up in Pittsburgh. You worked on that film? Yeah, I was the first fight for uh, oh, wow. for um, the, the 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 teacher in the movie, and uh, my name was Midnight. <laughs> <laughs> but Hardy is a bad dude. Bad man. I mean, we were we were all good guy. Yeah, awesome, yeah. awesome. He, he's one of those guys. He gets in the character. Right. He stays there. Right. You know what I mean? Like we are, we're at a bar and Tom is at the bar with his hand wraps on and like still got his gear on. He's in he, it. He's, he's in, in it. it. He's, he's not. In he's it. not thinking about it. <laughs> no, he's, he's in, in it. it. Yeah, he mm -hmm. got lean. Right. All of a sudden, the dude got traps up to here. Like he was, he was in it. Right. You know what I mean? And I just remember one one day we were just out eating, just the whole crew, and Tom was telling a story, and everybody was like, "He sucked everybody yeah. in." Yeah. Right. He was like, "Yeah, I just made that up," and everybody's like, <laughs> "You got to be shitting me right now, dude." Like he was that good and convincing. That, right, he's amazing, know, Tom he, Hardy. He's great. Nah, he's great. He's a great actor, dude. He is a great actor. Great actor. He's got. He he'll sell it. He'll sell that role. He's no got what. some interesting shit going on. Yeah. Have you met Tom Hardy? I've not met him. Good guy. Him. He's 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 dope. He's cool. I saw him. Um, I saw him. I want to say Houston, but I don't think it was Houston. Probably Vegas. But I saw him. I hadn't seen him since the filming of Warrior. Which was like I like that movie. Yeah, it was yeah. it was cool. It was fun. Greg and Gavin O'Connor are great individuals. My boy JJ, he's he's a you know the stunt guy. He's great. You know, um, the whole film crew was just amazing. And awesome. and the, the O'Connor brothers were were so cool and open minded that they even took advice from fighters because you know they come up with these these different scenes for fighting and stuff. And most of these movies, let's be real, it's not realistic. Right. They actually took our advice on certain moves. I'm like, okay, most likely if it hits you this way, you're gonna fall this way, or right. the move, the punch should be that way, or it's, you know, we switch it up to make it look realistic. They actually listened and like let us chip in, and that's good. Everybody loved it, man. Yeah, everybody that's cool. loved it because yeah. you know when people can, you know, bring that authenticity to a little bit too to to the to movie or to the thing, it it adds something. It does, you know. You, you may not know it, but all these little things add up. You know, you, you know, even if you're doing something about a cop or something, you talk to a real cop, and you're like, "I want to get, you know, perspective on just not being an actor. Yeah. You know, see if I can feel like." You know, you're never gonna be completely that guy, but you know what I mean. You mm -hmm. could, you could at least get a piece of it, mm -hmm. yeah. and it adds. Yeah, you know, it always adds on in the movie because mm -hmm. you, you see that stuff and you go, "Wow, that those felt really organic. Those felt real." Yeah. You know. And we was filming Warrior, man. People was, people were getting hurt. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, people, we getting... people do get hurt on yeah. movies. People yeah. get hurt. When in my scene... Um, I mean, you don't try to hurt each other. No, you don't. But, but it you happens. Try to, but it does happen. It happens. And, um, Sometimes when... some guys get macho, too. And you got to yeah. be careful with that. You're not trying to hurt a guy. But it can happen, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Kurt was doing that to some people. 
Kurt, Kurt Angle, you know, Cobra, he was uh <laughs> he was tossing people against the cage and like actually hitting motherfuckers in the eye. Really? <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. One dude came back. It's like I was like this after the scene. <laughs> oh shit. Well, you got hurt on longest yard, so Well, that was an accident. I, like I got hurt on um Warrior. Oh, you did? Yeah, I had a torn meniscus. Jeez, that hurts. And I had a torn meniscus already. I was I was and on the, the Bob Sapp, big big guy I like saw that. I was on his back. How big is that man? That's a big dude. He is he really is that big. He's huh? about six five, six six. How Jeez. much he weigh? But a lot. Yeah. That's a big ass dude. Didn't he weigh? Oh, well, I'm sure he weighed well over three hundred pounds. Probably. But yeah. When I when I first saw him, like him, you know, all right, we got pizza. Yeah. As the show is as the show is closing, peace we got the peace, pizza. Peace and wine. Peace and wine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so what do you, when is the fight coming up? I don't know, man. I haven't signed know? anything. Um, I'm not in it'll the... It'll be this year or next year? Next year. Next year? Yeah. All right. Next year. It's, it'll be fun. All right, man. Let us know. We're going to... We'll yeah. come out. I got your number. We appreciate you, know, we'll you doing this, touch. buddy. All right? Yep. Appreciate it, brother. Thank oh, you. Man. Let me run to the can. <laughs>